Hello again. Okay, we are, uh, we're here doing another OSX tutorial. Someone had, uh, sent me a reply saying that they wanted to see how the system works with files. How you work with, uh, with files on a Mac, so we're gonna do that here today. And, uh, we'll get going. The, uh, the way that OSX work, works with files, the application is called Finder. And, um, you can open Finder up by, uh, we have an icon in the dock down here. If you wanted to do it that way, or we can just click on, uh, say, the hard drive icon on our desktop. Now, as you're probably used to in a Windows machine, you can view uh, view any windows in uh, either icon view or list view. The details on or off. We can change stuff uh, up in the view menu over here. What we're allowed to see and uh, what we are not seeing. So, you know, pretty normal. What you're used to if you're coming from a Windows machine. Uh, if you're used to moving files around and folders around in uh, Windows Explorer, we uh, we have an equivalent for that too. We call it Column View. It's not a separate application. It's just you know built into the Finder in the OS. So Column View is pretty much the same exact thing that you would find in uh, Windows Explorer. And just the same as Explorer, you know I can click and drag and highlight things and move them all around on my machine here. Uh, you know doesn't really matter. I can highlight and uh, select more than one thing at once, move it all around. That's the deal with this. So, you know, it's pretty much exactly like uh, Windows Explorer. So far what I've been finding on the Mac is that anything that I did generally, anything that I did on the Windows machine and gotten used to, the Mac can do. Um, you might have to search around for the function, but the Mac can do it. And then the Mac does a little bit more. So, uh, for instance, over here we have this uh, icon view, which I'm used to. And I'm not sure because I haven't worked with Vista. I don't know exactly what uh, upgrades come with that OS. But um, in XP, at least, we could view icons in small or large size. In OS X, we have uh, this View Options menu over here. If we open it up, um, we can view them any size we want. We can make them, there's a slider over here, very large, very small, pretty much anything that we want to do. We can um, change the font size of the label. We can show the icon preview or not. You know, and this is for uh, if you're maybe working with a folder that has pictures in it or videos or something like that. So, uh, pretty neat. This uh, little window that I have open here is the View Options window, and all these options that I just showed you. And there's a couple other ones in here too. Background that you see, color white. You can make a, the background for a certain folder a picture and all sorts of useless stuff, but um, this option up over here lets me uh, choose whether or not the the settings that I'm making are going to apply to just this folder or every folder on my machine. So you can set everything differently, and the changes that you make will stick the next time. You know, if you close it, the next time you open it up, the icons will be the same. I mean, whatever works. We can even change where we want the text. The text is to the right of the uh, the icon, or on the bottom, or pretty much whatever it is that we want to do. So, that is the finder. And when you're working around the machine on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe moving things around, files and folders, say I want it to be uh, pretty inefficient about things and I don't want to use that uh, that column view. Say I'm going to have a couple, uh, couple windows open at once. So, we already saw in the other tutorial how Expose can do this. Just give us little uh, miniature versions of the windows and show the desktop. Let's say this folder over here on my desktop, I wanted to move it somewhere else. OSX has this thing called spring folders, and I know there's a uh, an equivalent to it in XP, and it's something that I didn't know about in OSX until I enabled it. But spring folders allows you to just take something and go deeper and deeper into your hard drive without actually clicking on anything and having to drop and drag and drop drag and drop and drag and drop over and over again. So let's say I got this and I'm dragging it around and you know I hit my, my expose trigger I'm moving around. Let's say I want to put it in, I don't know, this one. Hover over, that window comes forward. I just hover over this and spring folders opens up any folder that I want. And say I get into somewhere that I don't want to be and I decide, you know what, I, I didn't want to move this to begin with. I hit escape and it disappears, it goes back to where it was that it came from. So now, something that uh, OSX has a little bit of an edge on is uh, 
if I go into the finder preferences over here okay this is the option for spring folders which is that uh, feature that I was just showing you I can set the delay on the folder uh, how long it takes when I hover over it until the folder opens up short long whatever so say I wanted to set it long so I definitely don't have any uh, any problems with folders ac accidentally opening up or anything I can do that or I'm pretty good with the mouse and I want to work quicker I can set it to a short or I can turn it off altogether if I wanted to so the uh, the operating system is extremely intuitive and easy to use when you first start using it it seems very simple um, once you start getting a little bit deeper and deeper into what it can do you find that it has more and more options and more and more ways to uh, kind of cater it to how you're, you're used to using the machine so the first couple days it seemed like a little bit different using the machine coming from a PC and then after that not so uh, not so different at all let's see um, one thing that I found that's a disadvantage of working with the Mac at least from my point of view let's say for instance I have an external hard drive which I happen to have hooked up over here okay and let's say that there's that folder that I didn't move before say that I want to uh, I want to move a file from my external drive over to my uh, my internal drive okay what I would normally do on my PC is I'd go into here and I'd right click on a folder or file and I'd click cut and then I'd go into you know where I wanted to move it on the other drive and right click and click paste and I would no longer have it here in my external drive and it would be here so you know quick and easy way on a uh, Windows machine to move a file if I wanted to do that on the Mac I'm out of luck we can't do it on a Mac we cannot cut and paste files and folders on the Macintosh operating system it doesn't work like that I think Apple's stance on this is that it's a bit of a safety feature um, for instance on my Windows machine if I cut the file and I was moving things around and then maybe by accident I forgot that I had it pasted into the clipboard if I hit copy on something else I lose that that file or if it's a folder I lose everything on there so I think that's kind of the reason why they don't allow you to do that on here but it does add an extra step on the process of moving files and folders around sometimes you know and it's no big deal if I wanted to just copy the thing and then move it over all I have to do is go back and delete the original and you know most of the time I don't wind up doing anything like that but um, it did take a little bit of getting used to because I wound up doing that cut and paste thing on my Windows machine quite a bit so that's that and um, let's see I'm wondering if there's anything else that I should show you oh, while we have some time I happen to have my internet browser open this is another thing that I learned the other day and I think I touched on it in the uh, the other tutorial a little bit but Let's say, for instance, we, uh, I don't know, happen to stumble upon a website and we got some directions. It's a place that we want to go to. We've got directions and a little bit, a little map. And I'm not going there today, but I don't want to bookmark the thing and have, have to come back here later on. In a Windows machine, what, would I, what I would do is, uh, if I wanted to see these directions, you know, right click on the desktop maybe, open up a new notebook file and uh, go back over here, highlight the uh, the text and um, you know right click copy and then paste it into the new notebook file I just made on the Mac all we do is this just highlight, drag, put it on the desktop we have a named text file of our directions automatically there for us if I wanted to save the, the image here, I mean any image on any website really I just click on it and I drag it and now we have the image on the desktop and that's it I can move these around I want to select these spring folders opens up this and this I can move it anywhere on my machine that I want to I decided I didn't want to put it in here escape I go right back on the desktop the folder closes and we are done so the more you work with the machine the, um, the easier it is to work around things and I happen to be pretty happy with it so I think that's it. You know, again, like the other tutorial, let me know if there's anything that you want to see. It's not a problem at all. You're in luck. I actually happen to have the week off of work, so I've got some free time on my hands. And also, it does force me to learn the computer a little bit better than I would if I was just kind of playing around with it on my own. So I don't think I would have learned about string folders if I didn't try to do another tutorial on moving files around. So it helps me out as well, and I don't mind doing it at all. So send me a message with anything you want to see and any comments you have to make, and uh, thank you for watching.